Um, I was thinking of adding a sap green and another yellow, another brown, or another red. Um, these are the colors already in here. Let me know in the comment section if I should add two more because I want to make this 12. And if I need to add two more, what are those colors that you are suggesting me to buy? Why charge me again for another, you know, another fee when you have already charged me a huge amount of uh, shipping fee? Hi there again everyone, this is again Alan and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be unboxing the art materials that I got at Blick Art Materials. But before we unbox, let me share with you some tips and also my shopping and shipping experience in this purchase. And for this to be organized, let's have this through a timeline. So on October 3rd, 2020, I went to the website of Blick Art Materials which is dickblick.com and selected the items that I wanted. But for a tip to my Filipino subscribers, whenever you are buying at online shops abroad except for Shopee and Lazada, please make sure not to exceed the amount of 200 US dollars or 10,000 Philippine pesos because if you exceed that amount, the Philippine customs will charge you 25 to 35% worth of taxes. So you don't want that to happen, so please take that tip in mind always. And so for this purchase, the total amount of the art materials alone was 196.27 US dollars or 9903.05 Philippine pesos. So I placed that order, but the shopping fee cannot be computed by the system. So Dick Blake will have to compute that manually. So I waited for around 4 hours before they were able to send me the quotation for the shipping fee. By the way, the courier is FedEx and uh, after several hours, they replied to me that the shipping fee is 66.43 US dollars or 3,351.81 Philippine pesos. That is not cheap for this small package but I accepted that amount because I really wanted to have one of the items that's in this box and that's something I cannot find elsewhere. So that makes now the total purchase and shopping fee um, amount total to 13,254.87 Philippine pesos or 262.7 US dollars. I've accepted that amount. And that time, all I knew was that's the only amount I had to pay. So, on October 14, 2020, Blick was able to ship the items to me. After a week, the box arrived at my doorstep with the delivery guy asking for another fee. So, that is the warehouse handling fee that amounted to 576 Philippine pesos or 11.75 US dollars. I was really pissed that time. I was disappointed because, you know, the 66.43 US dollars is already not cheap for shipping fee. All I knew, that was everything. And I have not experienced this in my purchases abroad. I purchased at Jackson's and the shipping there was DHL and everything went smoothly. The items went to my doorstep without additional fees or whatsoever. But this time they are asking me for warehouse handling fee, which is also not cheap. It's 576, it's 11 US dollars. So why? Why charge me again for another, you know, another fee when you have already charged me a huge amount of uh, shipping fee? I cannot do anything because the uh, delivery guy is already waiting outside and I had to take my items, my precious items, so I had to pay it. So adding the cost of materials, the shipping fee, and the warehouse handling fee, you have 274.45 US dollars or 13,831.66 Philippine pesos. Yeah. But it's over i've already accepted that and paid that so let's now go to the happy part which is the unboxing by the way this box came with these papers <laughs> from um is this from the customs yeah from the customs and also um i have here the receipt about the handling fee of 576 or 11.75 us dollars it seemed like a huge thing but these are just watercolors <laughs> 
Anyway, let's unbox finally our Blick Art Materials purchase. So I'm using my cutter now. Please always be careful whenever using sharp objects. Here now. Oh. So, what happened to this? I think customs have already opened this, so it looks like this. I think this is my receipt from Blake Art Materials. So, they used paper instead of bubble wrap, which is, I think, commendable because it's friendlier to the environment. So, Let's unveil our art materials. Ta-da! <laughs> so, obviously, I have here a box of Grumbacher Academy watercolors. It has here 12 pieces, but we only have here 10 tubes of watercolors. The other two items are the brush and the tray. And also, I have here Utrecht or Utrecht. I have not researched yet the, the proper pronunciation for the brand name but I believe it's Utrecht. Utrecht. Um, I have here the landscape set which is composed of 12 14ml tubes. I've been really curious about this brand because I've been reading good things about it especially from handprint.com so finally I have them and I'm very happy but I'm not super happy with the color selection so I added two more colors and I have here Kinnakerdon Red and Taylor Blue Green Shade so now I have 14 colors of Utrecht and don't worry because I'm gonna be reviewing these items really soon hopefully in the coming days and the third and last item in this purchase wow this is actually surprisingly huge i did not expect it to be this big <laughs> i actually got the pelican set of uh, transparent watercolors because the container um, reminded me of the portable painter but <laughs> from this it doesn't look very portable the box is very fancy and here is <laughs> the gigantic palette okay this is not the official review yet but let me just show to you you can also use this um, as your water reservoir or your water container and here are the paints yeah here are the paints and this is your palette it's really huge but the size is nice for bigger paintings for bigger brushes because these are really huge these are I think bigger than half pans anyway we are gonna be reviewing these items on a separate video in the coming days so please stay tuned and once available if you happen to uh, watch this video on a later date um, the links are, are already one by one attached in this video but yeah I'm so excited to try these items out especially my uh, Utrecht watercolors because um, I've been hearing lots of good things about it especially from the very credible handprint.com so I think we're good thank you for watching and Oh, before I forget, um, I was actually thinking of adding two more colors in my Grumbacker Academy. Um, I was thinking of adding a sap green and another yellow, another brown, or another red. Um, these are the colors already in here. Let me know in the comment section if I should add two more because I want to make this 12. And if I need to add two more, what are those colors that you are suggesting me to buy? So uh, I'm going to be waiting for your suggestions until <laughs> tomorrow because I might go to the store tomorrow 
and get those colors so again thank you for watching if you're not subscribed yet please do subscribe to show support to my channel and please stay tuned for the reviews of these items and the ones available i'll be linking all of those reviews in this video so again thank you for watching and see you on the next video